The following program is rated E. From Queen and John, it's City Line. Today on City Line, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary with a blast from the past. We're kicking off a week-long celebration, looking back on 40 incredible years. Then, all of you on the count of three, get cooking. One, two, three. The OGs are throwing down with the newbies in a chef challenge. And later, a trip down memory lane. There was the time when I decided to bring ladybugs and released it into the studio. And then I was like, oh, how do I get them back? <laughs> it's City Line with Tracy Moore. Celebrate this without bringing Marilyn Dennis back. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. No way. Thank you. How does it feel to be back? It feels great. I see the look at this. And it's, I, I, I'm so happy to celebrate with you all. So thank yeah. you for getting me out of, you know, just radio and coming into TV. Yeah. This is really my first appearance in a year. Well, we're happy it was here. Yes. You know, this is what here. we wanted. Here. So. She's been on the air for 40 years. She has a million stories to tell, but we want to do a little look back of our own. Okay. You're going to watch there this. There we go. <laughs> we invited a studio audience for the last week to come on in and ask us questions and things, and we have about six. <laughs> 35 years ago, my daughter was born, and I was on mat leave, and it was a time when, you know, you're watching more television and uh, learning a lot um, from the different shows, especially I really enjoyed Deanie Petty. Hi, I'm Deanie Petty, and every weekday on City Line, we open the phone so you can get advice from our resident experts. They sat us in the front row, and uh, I just prayed that she wouldn't cry. I grew up watching City Line, Marilyn Dennis, Deanie Petty, now Tracy. During my pregnancy, that's what I watched. And now, guess who I'm attending the show with? My daughter. I have a memory from, I don't even know what year it was, but it was a long time ago. This is it, City Line's Mega Makeover Madness. And I got chosen for a makeover with Maurice Fiorio. And he colored my hair, he cut my hair, they did makeup, and I came out of there feeling like a movie star. Because you look fantastic. I did feel great, and I'll never forget it, and I'll always have that memory of the show and doing that, so it was a lot of fun. I watch City Line daily. I've used the fashion tips, cleaning tips, nutrition tips, food tips, all the tips. Watch it constantly, love the show. This was my dream. Wow. How are you feeling right now? I feel amazing. I got to meet Tracy. I got to meet the chef. I'm on City Line. I also love the fashion. But you all look good. You look good. I remember when I was younger, I used to tune into City Line in Fashion Fridays. Sandra Patana and rest in peace, Sandra. I loved her glasses. I said, you know what? My mark is going to be stately glasses. And Thank you, Sandra. You're gonna sit back, you're gonna get pampered, they're gonna do your hair and your makeup, and then you're gonna be a Glamazon. Sounds good to me. First time to City Line. I actually got picked out of the audience because I had a really bad hair day. It was awful. And I got a makeover, and it made me feel like a million dollars. 
that I have alopecia and I was watching a segment. There's a young lady who came on who had alopecia totalis. Bald is beautiful, period, so just lean into that. It was such an inspiration for me to be able to accept what is happening in my life currently and that this is just another stepping stone and just to embrace it and go with it. Well, City Line for me means my mother. And I would come home from school and she would tell me what she saw in City Line and the ideas she wanted to use from City Line around the house. And the one that she always talks about was the importance of picking your paint color based on your borders. And we started with the kitchen and then it was the whole house before that. So my mother, Filomena, really learned a lot from that and she also learned a lot of English watching City Line. So for that, we're very grateful. <laughs> Good to see you. Have a seat, everyone like to share a memory of my sister Corinne who uh, sadly passed away last year. Now Corinne was a person with disabilities and um, you know she would be at home and she would be watching City Line. And as a matter of fact she had an opportunity to be in the audience one time and I heard about that for years. So watching the show whether you're at home or here in the audience it's a connection. Looking comfy, cozy and cute. I actually was feeling a little down before I came, and it was so positive. It felt like I was with all my girlfriends. Even though I didn't know the audience, I didn't know the camera crew. And it really just feels like I'm having a coffee with my girlfriends, and I'm learning, and I'm growing. What I love about City Line is Tracy inspires me as a woman, and I enjoy coming to all her shows that I've come to. Even the one, I want a trip to Mexico. As a single mom, my best friend and I went together, which was wonderful, away from my five kids. <laughs> it's been a great experience. We love it. We love Tracy. Yeah, we love the show. The show means everything to me. I grew up on this show. Love City Line. Thank you for so many years. Quickly. Marilyn Dennis, this is your life. Oh my gosh, so fast. So many, so many faces that from the past. It's so great. And so many great memories. So I yeah. want you to think back. Yes. Do you remember your first day I hosting do. City Line? I do. Seven people were in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> because they didn't want to meet the new person. They love Deanie <laughs> Petty. So I only had seven people, including um, a good girlfriend of mine. And I just remember walking on there, and my hair was very big. It filled. <laughs> it filled. If I, and I thought, you know what? And I just, I, I, I remember doing that show. I think uh, Ray Staples was on the first show. I might be wrong about that. But I felt like, no, this is, this is good. This is fun. She was very gracious. Mm -hmm. And, you know, meeting all the people that had worked with Deanie, and then Deanie leaving and then me being introduced to them was pretty special. My first day was not a lot of audience, yeah. but, but I had great support. Fun times, yeah. Pretty monumental, huh? Oh my gosh, I slept like a baby that night. I oh, was good. Because like, <laughs> I didn't sleep the night exhausted. before. Yeah, because I didn't sleep the night before. Yes. Yeah. That's the one yeah. thing about this no one told me about the show. We did talk when I first uh, started on City Line, and you yeah. were fantastic with your advice. But yeah, no one told me I would need a nap every day. Yeah. The energy, yeah, right? The right. energy that goes into it. Yeah, plus I'm doing a radio show in the morning before I do it. Don't know how you did it. Well, I and don't know how you do it. Well, you do it, you do because it's like it warms. Like Roger Ashby used to say, "Am I your warm-up show?" I go, "You are." Yes. You are. But 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 it's because I I don't want to separate those two things. If one came right after the other, I still had the energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do get yeah. that. Yeah. That makes a lot yeah. of sense to right. me. So we saw a whole bunch of amazing moments yeah. uh, from City Line. Yeah. We've got another very special moment that I want you to take okay. a look at right now. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lady M, I love you so. Aww. Inviting me on your show And all these people I say to you I'm rewriting Diana Yes, it's true yeah. oh, That was a big oh, deal That a big deal so the story behind Paul Anka, thank you for finding that because I think of him so much because I adore him. Yeah. Um, he was supposed to be on the show mm -hmm. and he canceled. No one ever canceled the show. And so for once we had to put in a repeat because Paul Anka couldn't make it. So a couple of weeks later I get a phone call at home mm -hmm. and he said, hi, it's Paul Anka <laughs> on my home phone. I go, right, you know. 
And then he started singing to me. And he goes, he goes, honey, I had a business thing that I had to finish. I couldn't come to see you. I'm going to come and spend a whole hour with you. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to talk about. I said, okay, can I bring in a baby grand? Will you sing? He said, if you don't, I'll be disappointed. So we had, had one whole hour with the wonderful Paul Anka. Amazing. Yes. And he made his song yes. for you. Oh, hey. Which is so beautiful. Yeah. Such a fan. Yeah. You know, most of the people that watch the show know that the backbone of this show is our rapport with the experts. The experts are the backbone of this show, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have fond moments uh, with the experts that stick out in your mind? Yes, Brian Gluckstein's first appearance when he looked like Kenny G. <laughs> Yeah. show that picture yeah, anymore. It's so, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and as I, uh, Brian, of course, uh, was so new, uh, Stephen Sabados. Yes. Uh, you know, so fantastic. I mean, there's so many of them. Jason Parsons, Massimo Capra, uh -huh. yeah, Michael Bonaccini, you know, yeah. all those all those great... We uh, might see a couple of them yeah, today. You might we'll see, see a couple of them today. They might be um, hanging out. You know, just um, uh, lifelong friends, too. Mm -hmm. And the expertise that they had, you, you know, you were just like a willing, as you are, right? They mm. just want to learn more. You know, Sandra, Lynn... Mm. Lisa, the trifecta of fashion. Yes. They were really something. And the models were, the models when they came on the show, I wanted them to talk. I wanted them to move. And they did. They were amazing. Like, yeah. they, you're wearing the clothes. How does it feel? Well, yes. it's a little tight. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> you were the one that started that more casual. Deanie did it too, but I like yeah. that the models came in here and the models are family. Yes. You know, and we kept that going. It's like you're a person. You're not like a, a coat rack. Right. We want you to talk and smile yeah. and be a part of it. Right. And I love that. Yeah. You're wearing it. Tell you're us. You're wearing it. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about it. You know, I think that any woman in broadcast has had her struggles in this industry. You came in at a time that was different than the time that I came in, but... It was very man-led, man-run when you were in it. And I can't imagine some of the struggles that you had to go through. Was there ever, like, a, a really hard moment in your career uh, on the way? Or is there any struggles or challenges that you remember from those early days? Um, uh, well, I started in radio in 1976. Yeah. <laughs> you look fantastic. I just said, and you I had a great. good group of guys that I worked in a little station in Moscow, Idaho. They were great. And so I figured everybody was going to be like that. Right. Calgary was tough when I worked there for five and a half years. Not with the on-air people, but with some of the management. And we won't mention any names. <laughs> um, and there won't be a book, so don't even worry about it. Um, <laughs> but here, I, I often tell people, when I came into this business, I was raised by men. Yeah. And, and so you toughen up a little bit. Uh, was there any one occasion? There was, there was a lot of missteps that were made. Yeah. Some favoritism that was made. Uh, felt like I wasn't listened to sometime. Mm -hmm. um, but was there one big kind of explosion of something? No, not really. Mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. not when I look back. Yeah. But every time there was a misstep, I would go, okay, that's in my back pocket. I gotta remember mm -hmm. that. Because mm -hmm. I will never do that to somebody else. And I want to be very aware of sharing it with somebody else just in case they come across the same thing. Good. Yeah, that, that's how I look at it. The lessons. Yeah, the lessons. There are yeah. little lessons along the way. And not every day, as you know, when you come on the show, do you feel great? Right. You feel feeling bright and happy? Yeah. No, I come in and I tell the audience, today's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> today's and not a usually, good one. And they usually lift me yeah, up. Yeah, And that's the nice thing about having people here in, in studio. They're excited to be here, and then that gets me excited. It's yeah. like, we get to do this. Yes. No, we yeah. get to do this. How I, amazing is that? I, I love it. Yeah. Um, I used to love it. Because uh, I went through a divorce doing City Line, mm -hmm. and I thought this is one hour that no one's going to call me. <laughs> this is great. I get a break, you know. But That's you know, right. but you know, you go through like other things happen. Yeah. But, but what I didn't do is I didn't share like you did because we were told not to do that. Totally. Right. That yeah. you just don't do that, right? But right. now you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Things have shifted for sure. For you sure. Know? Yeah. I think a lot of the viewers don't get to see what happens behind the scenes because no. we're here. Look at you, looking all sharp in your suit, and me and my cute matching dress and blazer. <laughs> but the stuff that happens during commercial breaks or when we're off yes. air, it can be a pretty wild and pretty nutty. Is there anything that stands out to you? Broken lights, oh. things falling, oh, people, people not making it. May people not making it, uh, 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 some staff members having meltdowns. Oh, 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 anyone here? Uh, 
um, uh, you know, all, all sorts of things because they also have their own lives and yeah. they also present themselves. And we're trying to put on a show every day yeah. that entertains you, that makes you feel good, that, that you get a piece of it. This is the City Line motto when I started. Yeah. The City Line motto is, you know, everybody's got stuff that's happening in their life. So you're here, as you mentioned, to take a little bit of a break. Mm -hmm. But that we're going to give you something that you can take home. It doesn't cost any money. Just to give you a little bit more zip, confidence, yes. all that. And that's what City Line has maintained for 40 years, Tracy. Yes. And that's you continue yes. to do that, yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. So, but there's, you know, there's been a lot of stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. You, you've experienced that too. Well, I have to say from a personal um, place, for me, it's like you started this show, uh, mom of one, single mom of one. Yes. Now you're a grandma of one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Thank you. Oh. I love her too. Um, <laughs> but for me, the farther you go, the better it is for me. So I'm oh. silently cheering because that means a lot for me, yeah, right? Have you have this long radio career, such a significant television career, and I'm like, go, keep going. Yeah. Because if you keep going, I can keep going. That's very kind of you to say yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I know. say that to everybody. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, keep going, Keep Marilyn. going, keep going. Um, because we want to keep going and we yes. want to have purpose and we want to, this is a really, I mean, we both know how great it is to host this show. It's, we, a, it's we, really good. We, it's really good. Yeah. That's why we stayed with it for so long. <laughs> but, but the thing is, you want to cheer people on, women cheering people on, not taking away. Yep. Because that's what matters. And, and what matters is that you say to that person, did you go through this? Because I'm going through this. And only we would know that because right. this is what we've done. But, you know, you think at, like, I'm 65 right now, and I'm thinking to myself, do they still want to hear what, yeah, I know. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. We do. No, and I'm talking about the people getting into this industry or any industry. Yeah. Because I think it's tougher now. It is. I think, you Bar know, none. we talk about when I started City Line, it was just in Toronto before it you know, went to different places and you took it even further. Mm -hmm. There was no social media. Yeah. There was none of that. Yeah. And so that kind of careful, protected world was great. Mm -hmm. As it opened up, I was navigating at the same time everybody else was. And I mm -hmm. thought, I'm not, I'm not going to allow that. I don't want you to make me feel bad. You should make that person feel bad. Yeah. It's, it's like... It's, it really is important that we really stand up for each other. Yes, we, and we should. Do. We, we, have we have to. We have to. We have to. And this industry is going through many, many changes right oh, now. Oh, gosh. Tell me about and, it. And we are going to continue to do it. But I do want to ask you one last question sure. before we wrap up. Sure. Looking back, is there anything you would have done differently? Because I think about this a lot. Is there any way I would have navigated it differently? Is there anything I would have done mm, differently? Is there question. anything you would have done differently? Um, um, well, one of the things that I, when looking back, when you invited me on this show, I thought I don't didn't know what questions you were going to ask me. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't have the strong uh, backing mm -hmm. of my friend Roger Ashby, mm -hmm. Rick Hodge, and Tom Jokic to go from one to the other and support it, that meant a lot to me. And yeah. then coming into this new space, um, I was really uh, willing to learn. And some, most people took the time to teach me. Beautiful. Most people did. And that was that, that. So when I look back, that's the most important thing. I mean, there was been a lot of foibles, trips, falls, you know, crying moments. We've all had them. Absolutely. But when I look back, I think, you know, I'm so, I, I'll tell you what, I'm so pleased that this show is still rocking. I know. That, that's what I love. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. 40 years. Yeah, yeah. 40 years. 40 40 years. It's older than both of us, Marilyn. <laughs> but thank you for inviting me on this show. I'm so happy you Thank you, you so I'm much. I'm so happy. Marilyn Dennis, everyone! And I gotta say, big congratulations on her upcoming Lifetime Achievement Award honor by the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television. Thank you. So deserved. Before we go to break, we have to have a little cheer. So wine expert Renee Svavatsa is serving up some Peller Ice Cuvée classic champagne to our audiences. Oh, nice. All of you are going to go home. Oh, thank you. All of you are going to go home with a tasting for two at Peller Estates valued at over $50. Enjoy. Enjoy the glass. Enjoy the cashmere cakes for the delicious cupcakes. We're going to break. More coming up.
Welcome back. Now, for years on City Line, you've watched the three chefs take over the airwaves. And so today, we decided to have a little bit of fun. And we're going to put the OGs up against the newbies in the ultimate three chefs challenge. So, we have paired together Chef Massimo Capra. You can hear them. This is how they are always. Chef Massimo Capra, Randy Feltis, and Jason Parsons, his team, OJ. OJ. That's original gangsters, not old, old guys. Original gangsters, original. not original old guys. <laughs> not old um, guys. And Joe T. Nanra, Matt Dean Pettit, and Paul Lillikis' team, newbie. Yes. All right. Please listen to the challenge, okay? Under the cloches, you, you each have one, are curated ingredients provided by team ambassadors Trevor Louis, so blame them, and Devin Rajkumar, okay? <laughs> this is their fault. So, Devin, you are going to rep the newbies. You're going to oversee. You're going to see what's going on. Trev, you're going to do Team OGs. You're over there keeping an eye on them because they're going to be up to shenanigans. I know these guys. <laughs> Each team has to take the ingredients and make an incredible dish from scratch. You must use the ingredients in the cloche. You can add to it, but you've got to use all those ingredients, okay? You've got till the end of the show to make a dish. So, Team Newbie, are you ready to see what is under this cloche? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Lift it up. Right Lift it Here up. We go. Lift it up. Oh, okay. What do you got there? What do we got here? Soba noodles, udon yep. noodles. And udon noodles. And beef cheek and Bernays sauce. Oh, That's oh this bad. is great. That's Let's go. Let's okay. go. No, no, no. Let's Don't go. do anything yet. Right? Don't do anything yet. Okay. 30 minutes. Okay. Team OG, I want to see what you got. Could you lift up your clothes? Let's see what's Ready? going on there. Oh, yeah. What is it? We got chicken livers, we've got a curry, and we've got Nerdy. a sweet potato. Oh, man, yes. No. Do you already know? Are you already thinking yeah, about what you're going to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ube. Ube. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ube and Japanese curry. I, I, this Ube. is Ube. quiet yeah, this to Ube. me. I felt excited okay. over here. This is Very a lot of question marks. We're going to see how it goes. All of you, on the count of three, get cooking. One, two, three. Get to work. Okay. You got to the end of the show for that. Now, we actually did a call out looking for City Line super fans, and oh my goodness, we were overwhelmed. Thousands of you wrote in. We wanted to invite a few of them to join our celebration today. Please welcome our super fans. Susan's up first. Everybody give Susan some love. Hi. All right, Susan. You had a makeover on the show, didn't you? I did, I did. City Line has been part of my life for pretty much as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. I remember being homesick from school and it would be on the TV, my mom would be watching it. Yes. When I was about eight, we had the chance to go and see a live taping. Yes. Marilyn Dennis was the host yes. and it was so exciting because my heroes at the time, figure skaters Kurt Browning and Brian Orser were the guests. Oh my gosh. It was amazing and I was just, in awe of the live television experience. Yes. So in 2014, I did get a makeover on City Line. Yeah. Prior to that, I'd always had long hair, and you cut it all off, and I love it. I keep it's even shorter now than it was then. So you kept it. I kept it. I absolutely love it. I get so yes. many compliments on it all the time. But the icing on the cake that day was getting to meet you Aww. because you are kind, you are genuine, and you just made me feel like I was a really important part of the show. So thank you. You're a fantastic, fantastic role model for Canadian women. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. And I like that you kept the hair. Pixie's good on you. It's so good on you. Amazing. Marley, welcome, welcome. So uh, you wrote in, you said your entire family watches. They have watched for years. Tell me a little bit about why you all love City Line so much. Yeah, so uh, we love City Line because uh, as Guyanese Canadians uh, watching this show, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Chef yeah, <laughs> um, we love watching segments that like hit home. So seeing yeah. chefs like Chef Devin or seeing the Diwali show that's been yes. happening the last three years, it really feels good to have representation on TV. And that's something that really sticks out to us on. Beautiful. Earth. Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Lindsay. 
Lindsay is here. So, Lindsay, your mom inspired you to start watching City Line. Tell us a bit about that. She absolutely did, Tracy. So, growing up, she had City Line on every single morning, and together we watched through the Maryland days, and now through all of your days. We're both dedicated viewers to this day, and I have a little guy at home that I get to pass this tradition on to. I love that. Yeah. And over the years, um, the episodes about positive body image have really been impactful for me, and it's City Line is such a big part of why I'm proud to be who I am, just as I am. So thank I you. I love that. Oh my God, it's working. So it's working. Oh, I love that. So we wanted to send our super fans uh, with a gift to thank you for watching City Line for all of these years. The 50XE Next Paper 5G is one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year. The innovative screen technology looks and feels like paper. It leaves no fingerprints. It's worth $300, and all of our super fans are going to take one home. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I got that wrong. You're going to take one home for you and a guest. Yeah. And guest. Yes, so enjoy that. And I mean, I know you're clapping half-heartedly because you're like, good for them. <laughs> We didn't want the rest of our audience to feel left out, so we have a surprise for you, too, delivered by two very special guests. You might recognize them. It's Vivian Kay and Brent Fisher! personalities out to do this. <laughs> okay, Stu, tell us a little bit more about this prize. <laughs> Start your day off with the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew Trio Coffee Maker that can brew three ways. Enjoy fast brewing with a single cup using a pot or fresh ground coffee or brew up to 12 cups of coffee on the carafe side. This prize is valued at $139 and you're all taking it home. for many, many moons. Let's take a look back at where our OGs started out. We're gonna name this show Three Men in the Kitchen. Massimo Capra from Astora. Hello. Jason Parsons is Yay. here. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Put it here, baby. Yeah. All right. yeah. I love that you did these yeah. recipes. You did them three different ways and brought all your stinky eggs to the show. babies sure in those yeah. shows. Do you remember looking back, like, do you remember what that felt like being in these shows? Nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> Very sure. nerve-wracking. Sort of like oh, now, right? Yes. All right, we want to check in with what's been going on. We've had a lot of fun with the three chefs over the years, so I love that they were doing this challenge. <laughs> Chef Dev, you were with the newbies. Yes. You were overseeing what is happening here. Give us a little bit of an update on Team Newbie. Team Newbie, not so newbie over here. A lot of action. We have Jyoti at the back making a vinaigrette or dressing of sorts. Had okay. Chef Paul taste it. Matt, though, said he's very confident with what's going on. Oh. I want everyone to know Chef Trevor is responsible for providing this team with beef cheeks. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank and, you, Chef. And, and for those watching, anyone in our audience, beef cheeks are a oh, beloved cut for a chef. Yeah. However, what are cows always doing? Chewing. They're always chewing and eating, so yeah. very little fat. We love this, but we need to pressure it, or we need to sous vide it, or we need to braise it for a long time. So what would I do? I would mince it and break it down so it cooks, and that is what Chef Paul is doing over We're there. So about challenging hey, over here. Right? I would much rather have chicken livers if I was in this challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so they're yeah. doing... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really so right. They're doing what you think they should be doing with the ingredients they've been given, and we'll, we'll see how they're, it all turns out. They're cool, out. calm, collected. I'm excited to, for them to crush 100%, the OGs. 100%, 100%. They got this, they got this. Okay, Trev, what is happening over here? There's a lot of confidence. Everything is There's a lot of confidence. Yeah. But what's going on? There's some unique <laughs> synergy. It's kind of like a Beatles reunion tour. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Well, there's only three of them. Maybe I'll be the fourth Beatle. Yep. 
but we've got some interest. I think I may have put these ingredients as well. There's a little Asian touch in here. We've got some ube, yeah. which is the purple sweet potato, the yam. Gorgeous. And then Japanese curry. Chefs, have you worked with Japanese curry before? No. 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 <laughs> Thankfully, we work with it now. Thankfully, there's instructions on the box, which they just read. So. I know we read them, uh, and we threw away the box anyway. So. <laughs> if you didn't, doesn't matter. If you didn't see what was here before, yeah. Chef Jason basically brought half of Niagara region That's here. That's it, right? <laughs> <laughs> they have every... Knife skills in here have been very exceptional, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Mandolin work, ooh, yeah. some brunoise. There's everything going on here. So what's going on? What are you guys thinking? Well, <laughs> we got some cold go stuff. Some water, and we mind. got some hot stuff. Cold stuff and hot yeah, stuff. That's, that's what we're like going me with. me and you? Yeah, there you go, man. Right. Wait, I remember <laughs> my first segment. My first segment was with these three chefs, and they played tricks on me on the air. Of course they did. Yeah, yes. yeah we did. Uh, they made me do a French omelet, but there was no heat on the stove. <laughs> so, <okay>. <laughs> that <laughs> was my introductory seven years ago. Oh, it's a awesome. sink or swim kind of place, it Trev. Is. That's what it I learned is. around here. Listen, chefs, thank you so much for that. We're going to check in, in with you again Ready? a little bit later, but yeah, we've got another surprise for our lovely audience. Soul Kissed is committed to crafting eyewear specifically designed for wider faces, filling a void in the market. This Canadian brand offers true size inclusivity, making you feel confident and comfortable with your sunnies. I can't read it anymore. All of you are taking home a $100 Soul Kissed gift card. Right? They look good. Enjoy that. celebrating 40 years of City Line today. So some of our experts uh, have joined us in the audience. That's why it's so loud in here. <laughs> we love it. We love it, we love it. Now, I was talking a little bit uh, with Marilyn about this. Everything you see at home is really only like half of the fun that we have here in studio every day behind the scenes. And I say this all the time, we should really keep the camera rolling because stuff goes down. So joining me to tell uh, us about some of their favorite moments, please welcome Frankie Flowers, Patience, and Julia Green. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Frankie, I'm going to start with you. You've been at City TV a long time. You and I go back a long way. Oh, yeah, a lot of early mornings. A lot of early mornings. And you started, I believe, just before I did. 2005. 2005. In, in, in February. And I started in 2005 in, like, September or October or something like that. So is there... You have so many memories. Is there oh. one in particular that stands out to you? Wow. Well, the, there's there's lots, like yeah. with Marilyn. Yeah. Uh, there was the time when I decided to bring ladybugs and show about beneficial insects, and I released <laughs> it into the studio, and then I was like, oh, how do I get them back? <laughs> so they're in the studio for a period of time. Yeah. But one of my, 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 my memories, you know, we do all these on-location shows, and to the staff behind the scenes, too, and to all the camera operators, yeah. Blue Mountain. That oh, morning in Blue Mountain yeah. was so friggin' cold. It's freezing. So we try to we try to make it look like everything's okay. Like look at I'm like all happy there. <laughs> I'm the most I'm so cold there. My feet are like blocks. <laughs> and I'm just trying to be like, yeah, look, I'm so great. Hey. So many episodes, so many segments together. Is there anything that has stuck out to you? Um, okay, so I've been on this show for, I think, about 12 years. It's a long time. And it's, it is a long time. Yeah. And uh, you're always up for anything, which is great, because I, yeah. I would love that I would bring stuff to studio, and you'd have to sometimes put on a contraption, or I'd be like, I'm going to use this electronic device on your body, and you're like, just don't tell me what it is, just do it. Right. So you were always game, yeah. which always yeah. got the most natural reactions. And I have to tell you, there was a segment I did maybe five or six years ago. It was all about travel pillows. Oh, and yes. we <laughs> we just like, we put them all on and some of them made sense and some of them didn't. But I still get people asking me about it <laughs> to this day. I will get DMs from people. That's our best look, to be honest. Yeah, that's a good look. Um, I still get DMs from people who are like, can you remind me what travel pillow you recommended? <laughs> and I was like, well, I'll tell you which one's like, don't recommend recommend right. um, but that was a lot of fun and there was also another memory uh, I would sometimes come early to set up for City Line and BT would also use the studio at the time right, right. and they had horses in studio that morning nice and <laughs> I was backstage I was like look everybody these doors for City Line don't have windows the doors that you walk out of yeah. I was putting my hand through it I'm like oh my gosh there's horses and did that horse who was so stressed out not lift up
up its tail and do its business, oh. and it went everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. And I was the only witness outside of the crew because I was lurking in the back, and. I had to set up, and it was, I'd never seen people so angry because it was the morning show crew, and then the yes. City Line staff were like, livid. Yes. But it was, people walked in here gagging. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you you show up to work, you don't expect to have to walk through horse bleep. No, right? no. It's and like, we put the show on. Part of the we deal. all smile, but yes. we're like, it's awful in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, Jules, is there a moment that stands out for you? Oh, same thing. There's so many so that many. I get. When producer April asked me, she's like, Jules, we need a, uh, I sent her like a list of 50. She's right. like, we need one. Yeah. It's just yeah. one, Jules. Just narrow it down. Um, so, so many different things. I think I love location shooting. Just like Frank said, getting mm. out of the studio is always so fun. And the crew that you work with and all that stuff. Yes. So I love that. The one that does stand out was the Friday Harbor. First day of summer fun. school. Uh, first day of summer show. It was totally fun. But I was just told that I was going to be able to do an electric surfboard. Yes. Somehow I'm the sporty gal here. Which yeah. really shocks my family. Like my son's <laughs> always like, really mom? But I'm game and I did it. I just remember uh, cameraman Jeff going, it's now or never, baby. It's now or never. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, we got that. Look, there look. That's it. Like, oh, you did it. You got to off. After all the cameras. Yes. We were proud. We were no, proud of you. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. The, the City Line family also exists big time off camera. So, uh, JC, my floor director from day one, and I know everything her eyes are saying at any given moment. She doesn't need to open her mouth. So, JC, you've been here for so many years before I was even here. Do you have a favorite memory, my girl? Well, I remember all of them that everybody is talking about, <laughs> including the horse poop. I do remember yes. that. Uh, one of my favorites involves Pei Chen. <laughs> and some floaties. Oh. Hey, Chen uh, ordered 100 floaties, and the whole staff had to blow them up. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? And I also remember the hungry hippos. <laughs> Tracy looked at me and said, I can't wear my shirt. I can't wear the shirt. And so I looked down and said, take mine. So you wore my t-shirt, that whole segment, and I wore yours. It was very nice. One of us got the better part of the deal. That's right. This staff will do anything for the show and ha always have, always have. We love you for that. Okay, Al. Al has been here since the very beginning of City Line, like the beginning years of City Line. Al, how long have you been uh, on the show for? Uh, 34 and a half years. And a half years. Al, do you have some big memories, my friend? Yeah, uh, well, you know what? One of my favorite memories was going to Calgary with you and the City Line oh gang. Calgary and Edmonton. Yes. And uh, meeting everybody out west, and we had a great time going out to dinner after. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Al, it was me and Al in studio during the pandemic. That's it was right. me and him. And we got really close because we were our really only good. friends. <laughs> so I love you, Al. I love you too. <laughs> really do. And yes, we still have time. So our director, Carolyn, who never wants to be on camera. <laughs> Carolyn, I don't care if we're out of time. We're still coming to you in the control room. She's Take the captain you. of our show, okay? She is the one that is calling <laughs> all the shots. <laughs> where we're going next, getting the camera shots we need. Care, give us a wave, and please let us know if you want to uh, tell us anything. You want to say something? Take. Hey, welcome to the control room. <laughs> I just want to say one of the behind the scenes that you never see is the control room and all the amazing people that work back here. So we've got the technical directors, audio, lighting, graphics, prompter. We have a production assistant, our producers, amazing editors, but also there's the feed room scheduling, master control. There's a whole crew behind, and it's amazing. So thanks, it's everybody. Incredible. Take one. The way they make the show look incredible, that's all happening down there. So thank you, everyone, for chiming in. The, the chefs are doing their ultimate three chefs challenge. We'll take a look at them as we go to break, and we'll be right back. Stay with us, everyone. <laughs> for the big reveal. So, Team Newbie, yeah. um, why don't you reveal with your cloche what you made? Ha, 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 ha. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
What is it? So we were given beef cheek. It's probably the most difficult ingredient that you could ever be given in 30 minutes, yep. right? Yep. So what do we do? We break it down. So Chef Paul literally ran a knife through that, like instant chop. Yes. Uh, we've used a little. So we were given beef cheek, bernays, and udon noodles. So we have okay. crispy udon. We have egg throughout. We've got our bernay sauce throughout. And we've done a little beautiful uh, side. Uh, and this is theater, of course, right? Of course. So please, if you will, we've got yep. a little bit of soy, lime, wow. ginger. Oh, excuse me. And, and, and a little bit of black garlic as well in there. And our bernay sauce, our bernay sauce being the lemon contribute in it is in the sauce as well. So bernays two times in there, one in the seasoning. Unbelievable job. Jyoti, Paul. Good job. Feel good. Well done. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well done. Look at that. Right? Not easy. Not easy. Not easy. Big flavor. Big flavor. Very good. Okay. That's going to be hard to beat. I'm yeah. going over here to Team OG. Uh, would you like to do the honors well, of the village? I, I don't, I don't, dinner, don't know. What, what do you mean hard to beat? <laughs> Burn. What do you mean? Hard I just want to say that the yes. team old guys are resorting to old oh, fear. Oh, geez. Oh, sorry, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Did he get oh, oh, oh. They're resorting to old fear tactics with the knife, though. No, the knife is scary. The garnish. Okay. The garnish. Who would like to do the reveal? I got you it. Okay, there? do it. That's oh. dinner. What do you got here? All Love right. You. So we have a chicken liver fried rice. Yep. With the Japanese, uh, what did you call that potato over there? Uh, Japanese curry. And Japanese curry. Ube, 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 ube. ube. And ube. Okay. And uh, a fennel salad and a beautiful fried egg. You're going right for that liver. We I went did. right to I Asia here, man. I a smaller here. bite, though. Yes. Is there anything yes, I need to get Yes, fennel salad is very Asia. <laughs> yes, we, uh, hey, we... We don't live with rules. <laughs> we did that to bring it over to <laughs> Europe, okay? That's delicious. Oh, he's getting in there. It's very good. Right, mm -hmm. try, try with the curry. The curry. Get the egg in there. The All chili. Right, the curry. It's rustic. It's like time that. to reveal the winner. Yeah, we we got our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, here. There it is. I'm going in for one more bite. <laughs> Go like that. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's good. The winner of the three chefs, OG versus newbies, goes to the newbies. <laughs> events for her vision and execution for this amazing 40th anniversary setup in our studio. I had such a great time on the first day of our 40th anniversary week. You experts are incredible. We love you. The studio audience, we love you. Make sure to tune in for all the fun and more surprises all week long. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Revolutionary. Powerful. Timeless. Home. Everyday life and everyday people. Culture. Quality. People are really seeing themselves and their stories reflected on television. The most common thing I hear from the audience is that we are so real, that Tracy is so real, and that when they come here, they feel like family. They feel included. Having uh, an audience was a big part of the success of City Line. They're with us. They're part of the choices that we make. We get to know them, we get to understand them, and it changed the kind of programming that we did.